so hello hello everyone so today we are going to uh, learn about uh, the overview of project that what our project is going to be and we will be seeing more many more things so uh, this is going to be the fifth lecture of this series if you haven't watched the previous videos then please go and watch the link in the description of the playlist you can just go there and access these videos that introduction then fundamentals then download the data set from the kaggle and after that this video is going to be released and uh, second thing is that uh, if you have if you have started this video to watch then please be with me with 10 minutes okay 10 or 12 minutes be with me we will be learning many more things consistency is very uh, important if you want to learn the machine learning okay and if you want to build something like chat gpt and many more things so actually we are learning a book uh, one by one without skipping um, anything uh, because we uh, want to have a very concrete understanding so it is important to learn everything um, by scratch okay so let's uh, go on the topic now so uh, this is going to be actually looking at the big picture what it means that looking at the big picture so in the previous videos we have talked about that we are going to see about the california housing price set and actually we are considering ourselves as a data scientist or a data analyst okay so what is the meaning of looking at big picture it just means that welcome to the machine learning housing corporation you are an engineer and your first task is to use the california census data like there is a data and you have to build a model of housing prices in the state in that data there is a lot of things like uh, population median income me median and uh, medium housing housing prices are there for each group okay so okay fine so your model should learn from this data and be able to predict the median housing price in any industry given all the metric so this is the task this is our task okay so as a data analyst in a company we have given this task so first uh, we'll be framing the problem that what the problem is actually so first we'll frame the problem and then we will be we will start our project exactly so uh, the first question to ask your boss is what the business objective is like what is the objective of this project like building a model is probably not the end goal it's like how does the company is going to use this model the model you are building how the company is going to use it knowing the objective is important because it will determine how you frame the problem which algorithm you select which performance measure you uh, you will use to evaluate your model and how much effort you will spend tweaking it so it is quite important to know these things before making a model or before building any project also that what is going to be the output what is the objective and if you are doing a personal project also you have to define these things to have a clear idea that why you are doing this project okay so your boss answers that uh, your model output will be fed to the another machine learning system along with other signals and that this downstream system will determine whether it is it is worth to investing in the given area so it is all about the investment in a given area so i hope you got the idea that it is about the investment like your model will give this uh, idea that okay we should do investment or not okay with with several measures also and uh, getting things right is critical as directly affects the revenue because it is quite critical so you have to be very uh, conscious to uh, refine it make it more better and uh, more correct okay so next question uh, to ask your boss is what is the current solution look like so like any solution the company have now so you have to see that solution maybe you will be trying that solution only or maybe after seeing that solution you will you will think uh, uh, from that point okay so like you are at zero but after listening the solution you will be at the one and then after one you will be go to the 10 percent something like that so you will have a edge if you know that what the current solution look like what is the what is what is the problem a company is facing with the solution okay so like your boss answers that the, the uh, district housing prices are currently estimated manually so that manual work is uh, 
tedious okay so like a team gathers up up to date information about the district when they cannot get the median house prices they estimated by complex rules so okay for the human being uh, making like doing uh, complex calculations on uh, huge data is complex thing for us but for the machine it is a easy task so why not to feed the machines and we do uh, some more other important tasks so like just see this thing like uh, this is the da district data and we are going to uh, do the district pricing uh, ca calculation or uh, prediction and this this will actually feed the district prices and after that other signals there will be investment analysis and that will affect the investment of the people so it is like uh, it is like uh, a chart that how your part of why uh, how your part is uh, contributing to the whole uh, big company so okay uh, now uh, let's see about the uh, pipelines okay what is the pipeline you'll you'll be hearing this thing you hear this thing in future uh, when you'll be doing this uh, this all the projects so it is actually that pipelines is actually the um, sequence of data processing components it is the one by one you are going through the pipeline okay you are just doing something like you are pre processing the data uh, augmenting the data doing something more and then making a model making it uh, ref more refined so it is something like it is whole in a pipe it is whole in the pipeline so pipeline is very common uh, components typically run asynchronously like each components pull a large amount of data process it uh, spits out the result in another data store okay so on a, like like it is it is quite important to have a pipeline so that you will be work in chunks and then you you will carry forward carry forward together so that is the uh, that is uh, quite important and uh, now like let's see that first uh, like uh, with all these informations now you are ready to design your system so now we are going to uh, start the system but uh, first uh, answer some few questions more like uh, first determine what kind of training supervision your model will need so which type of uh, supervision it is needed like supervised unsupervised reinforcement semi supervised self supervised there are a lot so you have to think about like if you have a data uh, like if you have the data which are the labels then that is supervised if you don't have the labels then that, that is unsupervised something like that and it is is it classification task or regression task so just think that if you want to predict the weather then this is the regression task if you want to predict the classification like you want to classify that this is dog cat um, rat or whatever things so it is a classification task so uh, this is how the classification regression task you have to define and then should you use batch learning online learning so you have to see that uh, is it batch learning is important or online learning techniques is important okay so if you find the answers of uh, this question uh, then it will be uh, really efficient for uh, working on a project that which uh, model you will use which algorithm uh, you will decide to uh, used in this project so uh, for now this is clearly a typical supervised learning task theek hai uh, so since the model can be trained the model can be trained on the labeled example that's why it is supervised okay now uh, it is typical a regression task because we are going to predict okay we are going to predict the prices so that's why it is a uh, uh, regression task but in the regression there are uh, single variable multiple variable so there are a lot of variables like you have uh, seen that there like if you see the data we will be seeing the data there are uh, actually uh, various measures like median uh, median price or it is near to the beach or what is the latitude longitude something like that uh, it has the multiple variables so that's why it is multiple regression problem now so if you are trying to predict the multiple values per district it will be a multivariate regression problem so you are also predicting some more values together so that's why you are going to say that it is okay multivariate okay so you i hope you got the idea like it is a supervised learning then because it is the labeled then the regression task because we have to predict the things what is the multiple regression because we are getting 
uh, two, four, five factors to determine some values. So it is multiple regression and multivariate regression is like you are predicting not only one thing, you are predicting two or three things about uh, uh, this thing. So that's why that is called the multivariate regression. Okay. So like I hope uh, you got the idea that how to actually frame the things. Um, and if you have uh, any um, any doubt, any query, then please drop uh, uh, comments. And if you want to connect me, uh, then you can connect me on the LinkedIn, Instagram, or wherever you want. Okay. So uh, we are we will be seeing this thing select a performance measure, and uh, we will be seeing that how to select uh, the loss function, and we will be also learning about what is the loss function and blah blah. So for this now, I hope you got it that uh, what questions you have to ask. So I'm just quickly uh, going through the things like first you have to uh, frame the issue that what is the business objective is. So what is the business objective and what the company will use of your data yeah, or how it will exactly uh, important with uh, the business perspective and what is its use actually practical use case of your model. Then, um, then you have to ask that uh, which type of uh, thing uh, is going on. It is supervised, unsupervised, same is supervised, something like that. Then is a classification, regression, and batch learning, online learning, something like that. So, and in this model, you can say that the plain batch learning should be just fine. You know, there is no continuous flow of data. So if there will be a continuous flow of data, then you have to do online learning. But if you have a limited data, then you can just do the batch learning. Batch learning is something called the offline learning. So I hope you got the everything. Um, if you like this video, please like it, share it, subscribe the channel and uh, we'll be meeting in the next uh, video. Thank you so much.